A journey begins with a step at a time. Similarly, when the time of calling for Miss Uganda aspirants came along, hundreds of girls heeded to the call. My mother inspires me a lot. Why? Because she's, okay, she raised me, like, mm -hmm. she, as a single Aww. mother. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, sweetheart. Yeah. I would like Elizabeth to stay. Auditions registered 261 girls. N double E M A. Aha. 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 but of course you know it's a pageant they are winners and we don't call them losers just four thinkers the final 23 girls were presented to the press and country at large at the Sheraton Kampala Hotel poolside amid a lot of excitement See that presentation night 2018. We are on a journey to crown the most beautiful, intelligent, well spoken, well poised, confident. The elimination process took its toll as tears of joy and sadness engulfed the girls. Naki Jova, thank you. So congratulations. So this is like a third chance so far. Ever since we started, and I want to thank you so much. You're leaving the competition, but not the Miss Uganda family. Is that clear? Our big sisters, we are family, mm -hmm. and I believe I'm going to continue working with you. The Miss Uganda Foundation. Exactly. Every single one of them came in here with their eyes on the crown. But hey, life happens in different ways than we expect. CEO of Miss Uganda, Miss Brenda Nanyonjo, and her team met the parents of the girls to brief them accordingly of what lay ahead. Uh, we've been told uh, a number of things, and uh, we didn't know Miss Uganda was uh, really not in for beauty only, but also for some other enterprising uh, issues. Uh, with that, I know you'll not come out uh, the same girl, and uh, already I see there's a change. I uh, wish you the best. I would like to thank. Uh, the organizers, you've done a very good job. The few weeks that we've seen um, these girls come in and go has made an impact on their lives. Yeah, according to what we've been told in the meeting, this is really a helpful program for the girls. The only thing that the winner is going to be having more than the rest is only the tiara, nothing else. In the speed. Thereafter, it was time for boot camp. And on arrival, the girls checked into their rooms, amid a lot of happiness and excitement. The everyday regress training, dancing classes, debates, and other classes were part of the main grooming. relationship at work. Mm -hmm. If it's a serious organization, there are rules governing such relationships. Mm -hmm. So you cannot say it's right for you to sleep with your lecturer. There are very many consequences following that. Mm -hmm. Maybe when you're done with campus, that's okay. But why the students? What about the future? No. no. <laughs> Talent night got people on their toes. The contestants outdid themselves.
CSRA is part and parcel of the Miss Uganda Fraternity. The girls participated in the Una Causes Clean Water Campaign in Kawempe. As you can see, the Una Causes for Clean Water Campaign. It's hard work, the sun is scorching. There's a lot of action. It's amazing that we get an opportunity to help the community and to clean their well. Una speeds on the track. Visited Remnant Generation, a home of teenage mothers, with Fab Girls Foundation, led by Anita Fabiola. To cap the CSR off was a visit to Hana International with Richard Han, led by the boss lady herself, Zari Hassan. All the girls had to be part of the beach beauty competition and were dressed by Nanri Swimwear. You know our theme this year is African Queen, so I was so shocked when they gave us the African print. You know, we didn't know that we didn't know what type of costumes we are going to put on, and all of a sudden it's an African print, and we are taking the costumes. Can you believe that? No, that's so. Fun. Imagine this is all mine. Let me keep taking you around the kitchen, and here we have Joha. Mulugana sukaita kawunga neka Joha. Oh, kalaba. Kano eaka koze bamuita. Naja Teresa. Woo! Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we choose one out of the 20 girls as Miss Uganda 2018. Who will it be? North 2018-2019 is, ladies and gentlemen, Sandra Akello. And Miss West 2018 is, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Ahewa Patience. There she goes. Miss Uganda Central 2018 is Lynette Chagala. <laughs> Miss Photogenic 2018 is Khan Nima Sandra. And Miss Talent 2018 is Khan Nima Sandra. Once again, ladies and gentlemen. And by the way, just to let you know, Talent Africa is going to be managing you for the next one year. The Sports Queen. Elizabeth Nanziri. Beach Beauty 2018 is Mildred Tracy. Miss People's Choice, or you can call it Miss Popularity, is Queen Abenacho. Yes, well deserved, Mama. Miss Rising Woman 2018, 2019 is Karen Nyangan. <laughs> And the winner for Miss Congeniality is Nakai Patricia. <laughs> Miss Personality 2018-2019 is Miss Tara Magash.
What is the biggest problem facing the youth today in Uganda? Unemployment, misuse of drugs and alcohol. What kind of message would you give a genocide survivor? I would tell a genocide survivor that what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. What are the three things that define you? I am confidently beautiful. I love myself besides my flaws. I appreciate who I am. And I am flexible. I easily adapt to situations around me. That describes me. If you win tonight, what is that first thing you're going to do? If I win tonight, I would rock the runway with my crown on my head, give the royal wave, and thank God for the good opportunity. Uh, my greatest fear would be failure. I had to fail, and I'm not a failure. If you went out to have a good time, what would be your choice drink? If I went out, my choice of drink would definitely be a cocktail, preferably a mojito. What is it that you believe in that nobody believes in? Well, I believe in confidence. I believe in believing myself. That is what I always believe in. Uh, what does the first line of the Uganda National Anthem mean to you? Personally, it goes like, Oh, Uganda, may God uphold thee. Oh, Uganda, we are praising our country for its beautiful nature, for its beautiful sun, for how we are black people and we are beautiful and we are praising Uganda. Oh, Uganda, may God uphold thee. May God protect us. May God be with us. We put God before us, before anyone else, and that is why we all put our God above us. Thank you. If you were God for a day, what would you do first? What I would do is say hi to everyone. Hey, good evening, everyone. And the first thing I would do is erase the hatred we have in our hearts so that a world with love is way better than one with hatred. I would erase all the hate because with love, a world is a better place for the generations coming on. I would erase hate. What's your life mantra? Beg your pardon? What is your life mantra? Thank you so much. My life mantra is, it's like my drive. Like, I want to leave a mark on the world, not the world to leave a mark on me. That's my mantra. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for that beautiful answer. So let the way you book it up and put it on me Tell your body sing nice, could you dance it on me? Do your wine and your put it on me Tell your body sing nice, could you put it on me? Second runners up 2018-2019 is Ahewa Patience Martha. Steaming up what I've 